What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to shorten or extend any song using Adobe Audition to fit the length of any of your projects. So I'm sure you guys have been there before where you've found the perfect song and you've got your video and the song is either too short or too long to fit your video. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Adobe Audition to solve that problem. This is a trick I've been using for years for my tutorials, client work, really any video where the song doesn't fit the length. This trick works fantastic. So let's go ahead and hop right in. So right here, I've got a seven minute video, but my song is only about two minutes long. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click this and then go to edit clip in Adobe Audition. Once Audition is loaded up, you're going to come over to this top left corner and you're going to click on multi-track and then it's going to create a project file. I personally never need to reference these project files after we do the initial tweaking in here. So I just let it save to the default location and I don't pay any attention to these project files. But if you would like to reference your project file later, go ahead and save this with the rest of your project. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now you've got a bunch of different tracks here. Go ahead and take your song and drag it into the first track and then you're going to come over to this properties tab and if you don't see this or have this you can come up to window and then properties and this will pull up the panel for you then you're going to click on enable remix and then once it's done analyzing go ahead and type in your target duration in my case that is seven minutes and 12 seconds and then it's going to analyze really fast and it's already finished. So the remix duration of the song right now is seven minutes and 14 seconds, which I'm personally fine with because I can just fade out the song a little earlier if need be. But that's all there is to it, guys. Literally, you type in your number and it analyzes and fits the project length perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here and just show you what this is doing. So right here, you can see these squiggly lines through the music, and this is telling you where Adobe Audition placed a cut. So what I would recommend you do is go near that section and then play the song back and make sure that it worked fine for you. So let's go ahead and play this back. So I played right through that cut and I didn't hear anything weird. Let's go to the next one. And we'll go one more here. So there were no issues there. Now, just be aware that sometimes, depending on the complexity of your song, there will be times where where it decided to cut was not super great. In my case, this song is pretty simple and easy to loop, so Audition had no problem. But if you didn't like what it chose, what you can do is make sure you click on your song and come back to the Remix tab, and then you've got all of these different options right here. So for this first one right here, Edit Length, I have it set to Long, and this is going to try and space out the cuts in between each beat further apart so that they will be less recognizable. If for whatever reason you wanted that to be shorter, you could drag this over and now look how many more cuts we have in the song. So this can be something that can help space out the cuts on your beats and make things sound a little bit better. I'm gonna set mine back to long because I don't want things to loop quite as much. Now I'm not gonna lie to you here, this part right here for features, I really don't understand how this works because I have absolutely no music background. So maybe someone who has a music background can let me know down in the comments what specifically this is doing. But I have had luck dragging this slider left or right when the song is giving me a hard time and having it find a new point that is more optimal to cut on. The basic understanding that I have of it is that it looks at the different characteristics of the song and you can kind of shift where you want that cut to be depending on the characteristic of the song. So now we have minimum loop, and this is basically saying if we have to loop a section of the song, it will not be less than whatever value you set. So if I said right here, the minimum loop has to be longer than eight beats, or if I wanted to drag this out, I could say it needs to be 64 beats. This is not something I find that I have to mess with very often, and most of the time I'm fine with leaving this set to 8 beats. Now maximum slack right here, this is basically to say how much slack will you give the song when you extend the remix. So 
In my case, I said target duration, I want it to be 712, but Adobe Audition wasn't able to do that. So you can set the maximum slack to a higher or lower number. Right now, I have mine set to the lowest number, which is five seconds. But if you really need the song to be perfect at the exact time that you set, you can come over to stretch to exact duration and click this, and now the duration is going to fit perfectly. But now what you have to be aware of when you do that is it's going to speed up the song or slow it down slightly in order to hit that number. So right here, you can see that it slowed the song down to 99%, which to most people's ears is probably never going to be audible, especially if they've not heard the song. So let's go ahead and play this back real quick. I couldn't hear any difference in that song, and now I've got it sitting at 712 perfectly. So if hitting the exact duration for you is really important, then make sure you use that button. Huh, do you guys hear that? What is that sound? I'll, I'll be right back, guys, hang on. What are you doing? I'm trying to record a tutorial over there. Oh yeah, I was just getting ready to download the song for the tutorial we have coming up. You, you know? can't use that for a tutorial. We're gonna get a copyright strike. It's not even good music. Yeah, but you said we needed music for the tutorial. Dude, but you can't just go around stealing music. Haven't you heard of Epidemic Sound? Uh, no. What am I gonna do with you? Epidemic Sound is a giant music licensing platform built for creators. They have over 35,000 songs and 90,000 different sound effects that you can use for any of your videos and not have to worry about getting a copyright strike on your channel or any of your client projects. Oh, wow, that actually sounds pretty good, but like that's gotta be expensive, right? Like we can't afford that. They have two different plans, the personal and the commercial plan. The personal plan is 12 bucks a month and covers you for Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, and podcasts and any other personal projects that you want to do as well as monetize those videos. But if you're gonna be doing client work, which you know that we do, then you have to get the commercial plan and that will cover you for your client as well. So don't be cheap, get the commercial plan. It's literally a business write-off for us. It is costing us almost nothing to have that. Huh? Well, that sounds pretty great. I guess I'll go sign us up now. Yeah, and make sure you use our link in the description from that tutorial to get a free month of Epidemic Sound, which will also cover you for any video you make during that trial period. So anyways, dude, I gotta go finish this tutorial, but please just don't use Skrillex. Use Epidemic Sound and we'll be fine, okay? Ugh, sorry about that, guys. Interns, right? They just, they never know what they're doing. All right, let's go ahead and dive back into the tutorial. All right, so once you've got the song to the length you want and you're happy with, what you're gonna go ahead and do is come up to File, Export, and then Multitrack Mixdown, Entire Session. And now you can go ahead and name this whatever you want. I go ahead and name it the name of the song and then add Remix to the title. So in this case, it's I'm good on that. And then I would add Remixed so that I know that this is the remixed version of the song. And now I'm gonna go ahead and save it where I need it to be. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save this inside of my music folder. And then click OK. Now I'll come back to my Premiere project and I have Watchtower, which automatically imports my files for me. So you can see that this showed up in my music folder. Super handy because I don't have to go ahead and do that myself. But if you don't have Watchtower, you would just go ahead and import your song into your project. Now if I go ahead and drop this onto my timeline, you can see that it perfectly fits the length of my project. So that's really all there is to it, guys. This is a tool that has been absolutely invaluable for me. And if you have the Adobe Suite, this is completely free to use and it's very, very simple. I use this for my tutorials all the time because if I have a longer tutorial, I need that song to loop around. And it is still a valuable skill to be able to cut up a song and manually stitch it together yourself but sometimes you just don't have the time for that or the project is simple enough to where you can just let Audition do it. I don't think this is a replacement for a human chopping up the song because a lot of times you can be a lot more precise and know exactly what areas you want to loop. But in the times where it doesn't really matter, like in my case for a tutorial where the music isn't that loud, I'm gonna go ahead and let Audition do it for me because it's gonna be a huge time saver. In most cases, it's gonna take you less than a minute or two to just let Audition do it itself. So there you guys go. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to click subscribe and like this video and let me know down below if this is something you're gonna use in the future. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.